Something weird is happening with the Earth's magnetic field, and NASA has expressed their concern. A vast region of lower magnetic intensity is stretching out between South America and Southwest Africa, leading to a strange dent in the Earth's magnetic field that's splitting and growing. This anomaly, known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, has perplexed scientists for years. But what's the reason behind this vast expanse of a lower intensity in the Earth's magnetic field? Why is it so important for NASA to track the anomaly? Finally, and most importantly, does the South Atlantic Anomaly affect life on Earth in any way? Earth's magnetic field acts as a protective shield, deflecting high-energy particles emitted by the Sun and fostering life on our planet. Without this field, Earth might resemble present-day Mars. The origin of Earth's magnetic field involves multiple mechanisms and current sources, with the geodynamo process playing a significant role. To generate a magnetic field through the geodynamo process, a planet must meet certain criteria. It must rotate rapidly, possess a conductive fluid in its interior, and have an internal energy source that drives convection currents within the liquid core. Fortunately, Earth satisfies all of these conditions. Beneath Earth's surface, thousands of kilometers deep, lies an ocean of molten iron within the outer core. As the planet rotates, the liquid iron moves, generating electrical currents that create Earth's magnetic field. This field then induces further electric currents, which produce additional magnetic fields, thereby creating a self-sustaining loop of electric currents and magnetic fields in the core. However, the magnetic field generated on Earth is not always uniform. About 2,900 kilometers below the African continent, there lies a huge reservoir of dense rock called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. And this mysterious structure is the reason behind the South Atlantic Anomaly. Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces, or LLSVPs, are massive structures deep within the Earth's mantle, which can span thousands of kilometers. Their name stems from the fact that seismic waves, specifically shear waves, travel more slowly through these regions compared to the surrounding mantle material. This is due to differences in temperature, composition, or a combination of both factors. To understand LLSVPs, let's imagine Earth is a layered sphere. The core, located at the center, is surrounded by the mantle, which in turn is enveloped by the crust. The mantle is a vast region of hot, semi-solid rock that moves very slowly. Seismic waves generated by earthquakes or other events travel through these layers, providing scientists with valuable information about the Earth's interior. LLSVPs are found at the base of the mantle, near the boundary with the Earth's outer core. Two particularly large structures exist, one beneath Africa, known as the African LLSVP, and another beneath the Pacific Ocean, called the Pacific LLSVP. These structures are significant as they can affect the movement of material within the mantle, influencing processes such as mantle convection and plate tectonics. The African province is almost tens of millions of years old and extends around thousands of kilometers across with sharp boundaries. It is believed that since this dense structure lies in between the hot liquid iron of Earth's outer core and the stiffer, cooler mantle, it can somehow disturb the melted iron's motion that helps generate Earth's magnetic field. Eventually, these rocks can lead to a dramatic weakening effect in the field intensity. Moreover, the velocity of liquid iron in the outer core causes Earth's magnetic axis to tilt approximately 11 degrees relative to its rotational axis. Unlike the geographic poles, Earth's magnetic poles are not stationary and tend to shift over time. Scientists believe this tilt in the magnetic axis contributes to the weakening of the magnetic field, which in turn 
could be responsible for the South Atlantic anomaly. Another factor that may explain this region of low magnetic field involves the sun's emission of charged particles and plasma. When these solar materials encounter Earth's magnetosphere, they become trapped within the two donut-shaped belts around the planet, known as the Van Allen belts. These belts can find the particles to travel along Earth's magnetic field lines, bouncing them back and forth between the poles. The innermost belt starts about 400 miles, or 645 kilometers from Earth's surface. This usually helps in keeping the charged particles at a safe distance from our planet and its orbiting satellites. Nevertheless, during particularly intense solar storms, the Van Allen belts can become highly energized, leading to the deformation of the magnetic field and allowing charged particles to infiltrate the atmosphere. According to a study, a localized field with reverse polarity may intensify within the South Atlantic anomaly region under such conditions, resulting in an extremely weakened field compared to surrounding areas. At present, there are several potential explanations for the magnetic field anomaly on Earth. However, many mysteries persist. For instance, a 2016 study discovered that the South Atlantic anomaly is gradually drifting in a northwesterly direction. Additionally, the anomaly is not only moving, but also splitting in two. In 2020, satellite data from the European Space Agency revealed that the South Atlantic anomaly is dividing into two distinct cells, each representing a separate center of minimal magnetic intensity. While the South Atlantic anomaly, SAA, does not appear to significantly impact life on Earth, it poses a substantial challenge for satellites and spacecraft traversing the affected regions. Due to the weakened magnetic field in this area, these devices are more vulnerable to charged particles from the sun than usual, potentially causing severe short circuits and malfunctions. The International Space Station also passes through the anomaly region. Although its interior and occupants are well protected, certain instruments mounted outside the ISS, such as the Global Ecosystem Dynamics Investigation GEDI mission, can experience disruptions. For instance, the South Atlantic anomaly is known to cause notable interference with GEDI detectors. These occurrences can result in substantial data loss and permanent damage to crucial components, necessitating operators to routinely shut down spacecraft systems before entering the anomaly zone. Consequently, it is crucial to monitor the anomaly closely. The South Atlantic anomaly is not a recent development. Some studies suggest that it may be a reoccurring magnetic event that has affected Earth for approximately 11 million years. This implies that the SAA is likely not associated with the flipping of Earth's magnetic field, which occurs as frequently as every 10,000 years or as infrequently as every 50 million years or more. Despite this, much remains to be understood about the anomaly. Given the significant and unusual changes it is currently undergoing, Monitoring the SAA is of paramount importance. NASA is actively doing just that, keeping a close watch on this intriguing phenomenon. This concludes another episode of the Sunday Discovery series. Recently, astronomers found an explanation for the weird behavior of Oumuamua, the first known interstellar visitor to the solar system. If you missed this episode, be sure to catch up on the discovery.